May God be glorified. Amen. He has brought you in his house. Maybe you had so many hindrances, but you made it. God bless you for coming. Today we are looking at the host gate. We are reading in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 3, verse 28. This is the eighth gate to be rebuilt. Amen. Amen. We are going to Nehemiah 3, verse 28. Haruguru yirembo ryamafarashi hasanwa nabatamzi umuntu wese asana ahateganye n'inzuye Beyond the host gate the priests made repairs each in front of his own house Irembo ryifarashi cyangwa se ryamafarashi The host gate yari irembo biri hafi y'inzu y'umwami was a gate which was next to the king's palace. And this is where the soldiers of the king rode through going in and out to battle. This this is where battle strategies were drawn and the soldiers would go through the horse gate to the battle. Uh, the horse gate is a gate of battle. Our Christian lives are lives of battle. We fight with so much. We fight with Satan. We fight with the world. And we fight with our carnal nature. And all those battles want to draw our hearts from God's presence. There is something that Satan has lost in man. People who are saved or man who is saved. It's their heart. Satan can take your livestock. He can take your fields. He can even destroy your house. But the whole purpose of his work is that your heart will be turned against God in anger. Now when you have a problem with God, or when you get angry with God, Satan will take your heart. All the trials we face, all the battles we fight in life, they have one purpose in common. Your heart to abandon God. When Satan takes captive the hearts of men, he is not normally a man of joy, but when he takes captive the hearts, he rejoices. Satan does not have joy because joy is a fruit of the spirit, but he gets joy when he takes heart. When you lack joy in your heart, Satan has given you his tears. Uh, the moment we are born, we start fighting. Satan atangira kuduhiga. Satan searches for our lives when we are born or the day you are in your mother's womb 
Satan plans against him. Because he knows another soldier against him has come. So in all of us, our lives, God has placed in our lives the horse gate. Or the Where God plans and strategizes for our battle against Satan, against the world, and against our carnal nature. Normally we shouldn't be afraid of him, but he causes us to be afraid so that we don't fight him. Satan knows who you are fearless. And he knows who you are fearful. Satan knows what he can do to you when you're fearless and he knows what he can do to you when you're fearful. Before demons attack you or Satan attacks you, he sends fear first. Fear is not a demon. Fear is a sign of the devil's way towards you. The Bible says he's a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So when a lion roars, hearts are afraid. There is another spiritual lion called Satan. Different from the lion of the tribe of Judah, this lion that I speak of has no teeth. But he has a voice to roar. Because the lion of the tribe of Judah has detoothed him. The lion of the tribe of Judah has cut off his nails. And the lion of the tribe of Judah has chained him. He only has a voice left to roar. So when he roars, and a Christian who is not stable becomes afraid. And when you become afraid, you serve yourself to the enemy. You raise your hands. So in us, God knows we fight all these things. And he left a gate for battle in us. We need to go as a mighty army of the Lord and fight and overcome. Everyone who is alive. God has established mechanisms for battle. Even the weak can scratch people's faces when they fight. We need to understand this principle that we live a life of battle, starting from the young to the elderly. So God has given us this gate for battle because you know we fight. When should we recognize a battle coming? It's when we have spent long in peace. God gives us peace not for our comfort, but for strategizing for the next battle. When you reach in your house and your husband or your wife is well and at peace, that's the moment to get ready for the next fight. 
When your children are good looking, get ready for the next fight. God gives us that season of peace or a break to get us ready for the next battle that we may have enough strength to face the next battle. Do not sleep in peace but forge weapons of warfare. Because in the time of battle you will not have time to make your weapons. You need to gather all energy, all strength, all weapons getting ready for the next battle because peace is a sign of an upcoming battle. This has happened in most cases when you have someone sick and they come out of the coma and they look well. It is normally a sign that they are about to die. Yes, Jesus said, I did not bring peace, I brought the sword. There are people who always complain until when, until when, until when, until when you reach in heaven. The day Satan came down, heaven rejoiced, but they said, Woe unto the earth! Woe! For he comes in great fury. When you're happy, when you're well, the devil is not happy and he doesn't want you to be happy by yourself so he makes sure that you fall into his problems. You fight. We've been called to fight. We've been called to win. <laughs> Second Samuel. 22. Verse 34. Up to 37. Igitabo cha kabiri cha Samuel makumyabiri na kabiri. Second Samuel 22 verse 34 to 37. He says, I have prepared my house for you. And for my presence there is no need. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me so my feet did not sleep. <laughs> I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. Because the gate of battle or the horse gate is found nearby the king's palace. What does this mean? This means that when you spend time in God's presence, when you spend time with the king, you strategize for the battle, you chase your enemies, you pursue them and return when you have destroyed them. <laughs> Mm. 
And I have destroyed them and wounded them so that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet, for you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies so that I destroyed those who hated me. They looked, but there was none to save, even to the Lord, but he did not answer them. <laughs> Then I beat them as fine as the Mbari dust zondo. of the earth. I trod them like dirt in the streets and I spread them out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given us the horse gates to rise like lions going for prey, going to destroy and kill our enemies. My enemy do not rejoice over me for when I fall, I rise. We have received strength to destroy and to build to annihilate and to establish. In our hearts there is the house gate where we rise like horses with wings and we overcome every battle. Children of God do not lose, they do not complain because the mighty God is our victor. Your king is a victor. Your king is a victor. Your king will always be a victor. And he goes before Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Where your enemies come from the east. Where they come from the west. The north and the south. We will tread them in the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We are not a people of fear. For our king is fearless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Your king is a victor. Oh. Hallelujah. God gives you strength to overcome and subdue. Verse 44. God gives you strength to overcome and subdue. You have also delivered me from the strivings of my people. You have kept me as the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall suffer. Wherever you step, God will give you that land for he gave you the power to subdue the Hallelujah. nations. Hallelujah. 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 The foreigners submit to me as soon as they hear they obey me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. The Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let God be exalted. The rock of my salvation. It is God who avenges me and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. <laughs> The angel of the Lord told Gideon, mighty man of valor. When your thoughts tell you that you have no strength, 
Tell them there is a horse gate in you. And God trusts you when you fight, you win. He told Gideon, go in the might that you have. God trusts you. Amen. Hey. He wants the horse gate to be built in you that you may be a victor in every battle. <laughs> Hallelujah. Imamvu tugira ubwoba nuko hari irembo ritarasanwa mu buzima bwacu. Irembo ryifarashi rigomba gusanwa kugira ngo ugende wemye kuko umwami wawe yaraneshije. The reason why we are afraid it is because the horse gate is not built in us but we need it built to fight and win. Umunye ndege nke muri mwebwa zamera nka Daudi, umunye mberaga zamera nka Malaika. The least in you will be like David and the great in you will be like the angel of the Lord. Umva. Listen. Nubwo ibiteye ubwoba byahagarara imbere ya even the things that frighten you, even if they rise, before you and behind you, even though problems come in every side, look at them and say this. You have made my feet like the feet of You have made my feet like the feet of deer. You don't go under problems, you move over problems. Just like your king walked over water, he gives you power to walk over water. The first thing that the spirit will do in you, he will take out fear. Peter the day Peter was filled with the power of God, he faced them and told them, I know it is you who killed Jesus, but he had formerly been afraid to say that. You need to overcome. Through this gate, we overcome the violence. This is where we overcome the wicked. Satan and his armies. Brethren, I would like to share a story with you. It is in the book of 2 Chronicles. This is about a woman called Atalia. We find her story in 2 Chronicles. Second Chronicles 23. If you, if you may go to 22 verse 10, I want to share this story with you. Bukei Atalia, nina wa Ahazia. Abo nye kumwa na wapuji. Arahaguruka, arimburu rupza arogir gose, rugumame, winzu ya bayu. Now when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the royal heirs of the house of Judah. Ahaziah was the last born of Athaliah. And he became the king, he became the king of Judah. Then after some time he died. He passed. When this king died, the mother, the mother said, I want this throne for myself. Normally they should have taken her firstborn and established him as the king. But Athalia destroyed all her grandchildren so that she could be the queen of Judah. Let me read the story for you. Bukeya Aramujana, amushirana numureziwe mchumba chirarguamu. 
nuko Yehoshabeyati umukobwa w'umwami Yoramu muka Yehoyada w'umutamsi nuko mumbabare Yehoshabeyati umukobwa w'umwami Yoramu muka Yehoyada w'umutamsi mushiki wa Ahazia amuhisha Atalia ntiye mubona ngo amwice abana abana nabo imyaka itandatu ahishwe mu nzu y'Imana yari yahishwe he mu nzu y'Imana kandi Atalia ni we wari kungoma muri cyo gihe now when Atalia the mother of Ahaziah saw that her son was dead she arose and destroyed all the royal heirs of the house of Judah but Jehoshabeb the daughter of the king took Joash the son of Ahaziah and stole him away from among the king's sons who were being murdered and put him and his nurse in a bedroom so Jehoshabeb the daughter of king Jehoram the wife of Jehoiada the priest for she was the sister of Ahaziah hid him from Athaliah so that she did not kill him and he was hidden with them in the house of God for six years while Athaliah reigned over the land Yoram Joram yari mukuru wa Ahaziah was the big brother of Ahaziah the mother was Athaliah umwami Yoram apfuye atanze when the king passed Joram his brother the last boy was in throne his name was Ahaziah but Jehoram had a daughter abonye ibyo nyirakura ari makora when she saw what her grandmother was doing arimo yica abana bose bo kwa Ahaziah killing all the children of Ahaziah biramutangaza she couldn't believe it afata kana gato she took a young boy called Joash and she hid him. She took him to the priest and said hide him in the house of God. And they hid him for six years. And he was being prepared to be the king by the priest. In those six years Ataliah was the queen. She was the queen and the queen mother. Do you understand? She was the queen. And also the queen mother. She killed all her grandchildren. So that she could rule. umukobwa witwa Yehoshabayeti wa Yoramu aramuhisha muha amuha umurezi we ngo mugende mu muhishe umutamzi abana nawe mu nzu yima Jehoshabeth the daughter of the king hid Joash in the house of God by the priests umutamzi bitaga Yehoyada and the priest was called Jehoyada imyaka itandatu for 6 years amuhishe he hid the king ari kwagaburirwa numurezi and he was being fed by his nurse. Only three people knew this story. The, the sister, the nurse, and the priest Jehoiada. Jehoiada cyo yakoze mwibanga amutegura akiri umwana uko azaba umwana. And Jehoiada in secrecy prepared him to be king. But he couldn't be a king until they fought in the horse gate. Athaliah was a queen and she was powerful. After six years, now let's go to Second Chronicles 23. In the seventh year, Jehoiada strengthened himself and made a covenant with the captains of hundreds. They mentioned all their names. He was about to tell them a secret that he kept for six years. He took the captains 
The influencers in the society. The second, he took the Levites. Verse 2. And then, and they went throughout and they went throughout Judah and gathered the Levites from all the cities of Judah and the chief fathers of Israel and they came to Jerusalem. Jehoiada called the captains and told them you are the captains of the people. I am the priest. I have something to share with you. Look for the Levites in the land of Judah. So the captains went to look for the Levites. They went everywhere. They went to call out the Levites. And the Levites came. And the captains came. They all went to Jerusalem. Let's carry on with this story. Verse 3. Mm. Then all the assembly made a covenant with the king in the house of God. And he said to them, Behold, the king's son shall reign as the Lord has said of the sons of David. I need you to listen to this. Ataliah was the queen mother, but she wasn't of David's bloodline. So her being a queen reigning in that circumstance would destroy or hinder the birth of Christ. Because the Bible says a king shall come from the house of David. Athaliah wasn't of the house of Judah. She wasn't of the house of David. And she was the queen. So Jehoiada said he brought the lad and said, this is your king. And he shall reign in the house of David. For the Jews, it was very clear because the throne was for David and his sons. This is what you shall do. One third of you entering on the Sabbath of the priests and the Levites shall be keeping watch over the doors. One third shall be at the king's house and one third at the gate of the foundation. All the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But, but let no one come into the house of the Lord except the priests and those of the Levites who serve. 
They may go in for they are holy, but all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. Kanda balewi waza kiki zungami imbande zos. Umunduwe se afitin kwaro zokurguani shamuntoki. Uzinjira muri yonzuwe se azichukui. And the Levites shall surround the king on all sides, every man with his weapons in his hand. And whoever comes into the house, into the house, let him be put to death. You are to be with the king when he comes in and when he goes out. And so the Levites and all Judah did according to all that Jehoiada the priest commanded, and each man took his men who were to be on duty on the Sabbath, with those who were going off duty on the Sabbath, for Jehoiada the priest had not dismissed the divisions. Maze Jehoiada umutamzi ahabatkwa reba magana amachumu ninga bondoya ni 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 zaribzu mami Dawidi wikaba munzu ima abisohoramo abihabatam. And Jehoiada the priest gave to the captains of, the, of hundreds the spears and the large and the small shields which had belonged to King David that were in the temple of God. And then he said all the people, every man with his weapon in his hand from the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, along by the altar and by the temple, all around the king. The king didn't know what was happening. He just saw people singing, but he didn't know what was happening. As it was like that, verse 11, Masi, basohorumga na umgami, bamambiki kambar yubgami, bamuha, Numuhamia ba mugirumgam Yehoyada na ba hungube ba musuka wa mavut baravugabat umgam aragahora. And they brought out the king's son, put the crown on him, gave him the testimony, and made him king. Then Jehoyada and his sons anointed him and said, "Long live the king." Atalia kumulongo watu mina kabit. Verse twelve. Yumvi suru sakurguaban. Birukang, kandi ba himba zumgami, asanga ba numunzu yuite kaza iruka. Now when Ataliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people in the temple of the Lord. Yite gerish, abo numgama hagaze kungingi yumgami mumurjango. Nabatkwari, nabafuza makondera wegeri yumgami. Nabari rimzi nabo bacuranga ibintu bivuga batera indirimbo zishimwe nuko atalia ashishimuri myambaro ye avuza indura ati ubugome ubugome When she looked there was the king standing by his pillar at the entrance and the leaders and the trumpeters were by the king all the people of the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets also the singers with musical instruments and those who led in praise. So Athaliah tore her clothes and said, Treason, treason. Ubugome, ubugome. Treason, treason. Changwe sa kagamba na kagamba. Treason, treason. Niwe waru mwami kazi. She was the queen. Asanga wa shize hundi mwami. And then they had another king. Afu zindu. And she cried out. Ubugome, ubugome. Treason, treason. Ubuko yeho ya daya bigenje. Kumuna ngwa chuminakari. Verse 14. Yehodaya umutamzi asohora batware batware amagana bashiriweho gutwara ingabo zose arabwira ati ni mu musohore mu mucishe muri gahunda yingabo kandi umukurikira wese mu mwicishe inkota kuko umutamzi yaravuza ati and Jehoiada the priest brought out the captains of hundreds who were set over the army and said to them, Take her outside under guard and slay with the sword whoever follows her. 
For the priest had said, do not kill her in the house of the Lord. Do not kill her in the house of the Lord. Verse 15. So they seized her and she went by way of the entrance of the horse gate. Into the king's house and they killed her there. Do not kill her in the house of all battles in your heart shouldn't be fought in your heart but outside your heart by the horse gate outside your heart trod over your enemy at the horse gate not in your heart demons and your enemies should be dealt with outside the Bible says guard your heart above everything else because out of it springs issues of life. So whatever comes against issues of life, it should be dealt with outside your heart. They killed her outside the horse gate. Take out all the enemies in your heart and deal with them. Try the the break them in the name of Jesus. God prepared a horse gate for you to deal with your enemies because He knows you have many enemies. Deal with them outside. Do not deal with your enemies inside your heart because that place is reserved for God's presence, God's peace, God's joy. Take it out. Hallelujah! Jesus. When, when we pray, we pray from within our hearts. When we sing, when we praise, when we worship, it is done within our hearts. But when we deal with demons, it has to be done outside. Spiritual warfare doesn't take place in your heart, but outside your heart. The battle is not yours, but for the Lord. When we fight in the horse gate, we are horses of the Lord. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk 1, verse 8. You are the horses of the Lord called to overcome hallelujah hallelujah biblia iravuga uvuko mumeze mwa mafarashi ngo na mafarashi yabo arusha ingwe imbaraga their horses are also swifter than leopards kanda rusha masega asohoka bwije gukara and more fierce than evening wolves abagendera ku mafarashi babo bagenda birata their oh, charges hallelujah. charge ahead their cavalry comes from afar. They fly as the eagle that hastens to eat. When we are in spiritual warfare, we fly like eagles. Wolves are afraid of horses. Leopards are afraid of horses. 
inyigisho z'ibinyoma ndiziraramo arazisenyagura kuko inyigisho z'ibinyoma zizanwa na masega abo nibo bigira bakoze b'Imana kandi ataribo nibo bigira ngo mwirinda amasega gati yanyu amasega atinye mafarashi haguruka wa farashi uwitekawe urwanirire Horses cannot put up with false prophets and false teachings because that is related to wolves. Rise as a horse and deal with those things. Umu nufitire mbori kingu yergi farashi. Umu nuwito zimito zafu ye monzu yibgami. Haka changwire mbori farashi. Tatinya maseka. People who train as horses through the horse gate, they are not afraid of wolves. Gomura rushingwe gukomere. You are stronger and swifter than leopards. Mura rusha masegi mbaraka. You are stronger than wolves. And you stand as a strong Calvary. Hey, hallelujah. 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 This is our king. Let's go to Revelation 6. Revelation 6. 6 verse 2. And you are strong and swift. And I looked and behold a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. Behold he goes before us on a white horse. And he conquers and goes out to conquer. That's why we are not afraid. Because our leader is coming. He goes ahead of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the king of hosts. Eh. If that is what you mean. Revelation 19, 11. Hallelujah. To verse 16. Oh, I know I have a little bit of 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 a little Kandi ngo uhetswe nayo yitwa uwo kwizerwa kandi wiki ukuri nuwo kwizerwa kuko ye kubwiye ngo turatsinda muratsi nuwo kwizerwa iya kuri imbere ubu ufite umugabo ukomeye no kwizerwa yo gusezeranya ko azagutsindira izo ntambara kandi uzazitsinda no kuri no kwizerwa ico yavuze cyose no kuri witinya ni uturangaje imbere eh ngo ni uchimanza zitabera ngo akarwana intambara zikwiriye uyu ndaza rwana intambara zidakwiriye intambara ze zose zeba zifite impamvu Tuzarwana intambara zidafite impamvu. No no, uzurwana ni intambara y'ikintu gifite agaciro. Wahagurutse kurwana, uzurwanira cause. Now I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he who sat on him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he judges and makes war. When you rise to fight, fight a battle that is justified. Arguani ndambara zikwiri. Uzukwe ya sagu yumunu. Wicha ya kifarashi. Ngwa masoye. Jari hibiri mibzo muriru. No kumutkwewe. Afiti misi ingo mzinsh. Kanda afite izina. Gyandi sikweri. Tazuki numunu wese. Keresewe wenyin. Yamba yungenda. Wini tukwe mumaras. Uh. Jesus. Kandi yitukwe shambo. Jiman. Ingabo zo mwishuru ziramukurikira zihetswe na mafarashi y'imyero zamba imyenda y'ibitare myiza yera kandi itanduye mukanwa ke havaga mwiki ingoti ityaye kugira ngo ayikubita mahanga azayaragiza ingo ni icyuma yengesha ibirenge bye mu mvure w'ingazi y'umujinya w'Imana ishobora byose 
kandi umwenda we no kukiberoke afite izina ryanditswe ngo umwami wabami numutware wabatware haleluya haleluya jesus haleluya his eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns he had a name written that no one knew except himself he was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations. And he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God and he has on his robe and on his on his thigh a name written king of kings lord of lords oh hallelujah hallelujah iri mu ntambara y'umwuka irembo yesu acamo n'abamarika kugurwanira ni irembo ry'ifarashi when you are in spiritual warfare the gate that jesus and angels come to fight for you is in the host gate. Akeji mamu tutatabar guavuba nukori kinze. Iyo turi kingu ya mugechi nambara. Yes, sari njira ninga voze. Ngo yari ichai kuifarashi umgeru. Ngo ninga voze mu ijuru zose ziza. Zichai kumafarashi umgeru. Kingu ni jorembo umami wa wakutabar. Kingu ni jorembo ijuri nukutabar. Ikini chogi ye guwako gima. Our salvation delays because this gate is closed. I encourage you to open this gate that God may come and fight for you. That God God may come and save you. Amen. There is a gate for battle that God has given us that we may overcome. We don't have the DNA to lose in no. battle. No. No. Oh, yeah. No. We are not a people that loses. Because the one who has birthed us has never lost and will never lose. We are called to overcome. Our calling is for victory. Take your, take your sword, take your bow, take your spear, take your arrows. God has served your enemies to you on a silver plate. God has given you your enemies. So take them out by the horse gate and trod on them. That's where God gives you strength. Hallelujah. The battle is of the Lord. And God has given you power to overcome. Amen. Amen. The trials we face, let's not be afraid of them. It's just life. A soldier is always ready to fight. When you sleep, they are awake. When you all think it's peaceful, they are cross-checking what you call peace. That's how we people of God are. They asked the farmer, how come the tares grew with the wheat? And he said, the enemy sowed the tares when you were sleeping. Satan has no way of overcoming us. He only causes us to sleep so that he comes through. He's a thief. Children of God are always watching. This is what Jehoiada had done. He had placed Levites to watch over the doors. People who always watched 
The altar will always have fire. Songs of praise by the altar. And ending prayers by the altar. We have to keep watch even when we sleep. The Bible says in the book of Solomon. That I was sleeping in my bed, but my heart was longing for the one I loved. Do not sleep and let your heart sleep. The heart never gets weary. Do not yeah. allow the eyes of your heart to close. Stand and watch. You will overcome the battle. Stand and watch. You have the power. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hey. We get our strength from the throne of God. The time you spend with God increases energy to fight. The time you spend with God, your time with Him, increases the strength that the world of darkness cannot face. You don't only need people to pray for you, you need to pray yourself, and you get strength of a horse. Jesus. Spend time with God. The day Zechariah spent time with God, he received the power to burn. They wondered why he delayed. And the angel of the Lord came to him and told him, You will give birth. And your son has power. Great power. When you spend time with God, even your children are powerful. Oh, Jesus. This evening, God is telling you. One Mighty men of valor. Arise in your might. Arise in your might. Tell Satan. You despise my family for a time, but enough is enough for there is the horse gate. This problem took place because I didn't know that I was a mighty man of valor. Now I know that I am a mighty man of valor. I am a mighty man of valor. I am a mighty man of valor. Horse gate in me. Be built that I may deal with the issues in my marriage, in my family, in my job. The soldiers were always in the palace. They would rise and go through the horse gate. We need to delay with the king. And then he will open the horse gate. And then say, I send you to the world. Go and change the Go and bring the salvation. Go and break the curses upon their lives. Let's go close to God. Hallelujah. 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 James 4, verse 7 and 8. 
ariko mu rwanye satani na wazabahunga mwegera imana na yizabegera hu therefore submit to god resist the devil and he will flee from you draw near to god and he will draw near to you niwegera imana when you draw near to Uku god imana. and the closer you are, imana. the more you submit niko satana guhunga the more satan runs away from you baraga, and you get strength zitera satana ubwo which frightens satan satana tangira guhinda umushitsi iyo maze kwiyemeza gufata urugendo rugana ku ntebe y'ima Satan trembles from the moment you decide to walk towards the throne of God. Niyo mpamvu ivuze ngo kiriya cyumweru nziriza nsenge. Iyo ukigeza rako ngo washize gukindi. That's why wakigera ngo ukwezi gutaha. Satan agenda kwibutsa ngo uzabikoresha ubundi bintu byatunganye. Kuko arabise. Iyo wafashe urugendo rujya kuntebe. That's why when you decide to fast the devil uh, will tell you fast the other week, fast the other month. Uh, he knows when you decide to go to the throne, he will lose. When the spirit rises you up in the night and says, kneel down and go to the throne. Satan will come and tell you, you need to sleep because you have an early morning tomorrow. You're going to work. He knows when you kneel down it frightens him <laughs> who is ready to get close to the throne because your problem will end when you get close to the throne you blow the devil away like a leaf in air. In the difficulties of your life. Go to the throne and say, God, I need you to build my horse gate. The horse gate. Even the weak in the horse gate overcome. The weak the weak when they stand in the horse gate because Jesus stands in the horse gate they overcome the battle and everyone who gets close to Jesus they get close to the source of power every phone that is charged on electricity when you connect when you connect a phone to the charger it gets electricity the same happens when we connect ourselves to God hallelujah hallelujah amen let's draw nigh to him and we will be charged will be charged let me tell you how you are let me finish in the book of numbers numbers 19 19 my, my people Mighty man, mighty woman of valor, arise and just pray for the horse gate to be open. That's all you need and you will overcome. God is tired of you complaining. You need your horse gate working. God looks at you and says, I wish he knew that there is a horse gate. You think Nehemiah just came in Jerusalem for no reason? He knew that if the gates were rebuilt, Jerusalem would receive her worth back. Your worth will return if you can only rebuild the walls. Do you know the gates that Jesus goes through? 
or the gates of calling. Young women and young men. Mothers and fathers, do you know the gate of the Spirit? And the gate of serving God. When those gates are rebuilt in your life, you, you may be born in a poor family, but you'll be respected. Even if people despise you, God lifts you up. Let's go to Numbers 23. <laughs> Verse 21. 22. Imana. Yabukuye muri Egiputa. Niyo Ibajana. Ngomniyo <laughs> Imana <laughs> Mugihe cyategetswa ba Yakobo n'abisirayeli bazabwirwa icyo imana ikora 24 ngo dore dore vuga ngo dore dore ubwo bwoko hehe ngo bubaduka nk'intare y'ingore bufumbuka nk'intare y'ingabo Tizaryama itararyo muhigo. Sha. Tizaryama itaranwa maraso yabiyo. Niko niko tumeze. Ubwo bwoko. God brings them out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox, for there is no sorcery against Jacob, nor any divination against Israel. It now must be said of Jacob and of Israel, Oh, what God has done. Look, a people rises like a lioness and lifts itself up like a lion. It shall not lie down until it devours the prey and drinks the blood of the slain. Eh? This people. Let's keep reading about them. 24 verse 8. Let's read about them. Let's read about them. Gabo, <laughs> Natwe twebwe ubwoko buri buri kwirembo ryifarashe iyo tubonye ababisha apeti iraza ntabwo duhunga ngo tujye mu bapfumu ah ah apeti iraza burya ababisha bose babubereye intambame ubwo ni bwa bwoko mbabwiye hmm buzamenaguriki buzamenaguriki amagufu wari waryi ngo kukarya ni gufara nuko ni ko bumera 
bura kurya bukarya ni gufa ko choko 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 ubu ni bwabwoko ubu ni bwabwoko tibutinya abantu burabarya kugeza no kwigufa mbega menyo yacu dufita menya kalishi buzaba hinguranisha imyambi yabwo bwarabunze muzi kubunze ozage burategereje umuhiko ngo buryamye nk'intare y'ingabo intare y'ingabo igiye gufata ibanza kuzamura umugara niko nato tuzamura umugara wo kwizera ehe yesu shi ngo kandi bumeze nk'intare y'ingore ngo bwavumburwa nande intare y'ingore yashonje ibyana byayo biri mu birira nubwo waburinde iragufata ufite ibibazo mu ruko ufite ibibazo wanyu uraryamye ugasinzira ukagona bugacyo bakindare ingore haguruka urakarira ibyo bibazo rakarira ibyo bibazo kuko ahanduri ubwo buzi muri mwo sibwo 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 pe ha umva rero bwa bwoko Nguza kwifurisha umugisha wese na wazawuhabwe uzakuvuma na wazavuma wala tabwo ari gitwaza ni bibiliya ndaho isomera God brings him out of Egypt he has strength like a wild ox he shall consume the nations his enemies he shall break their bonds where a people that eats meat and even the bones and pierce them with his arrows he bows down he lies down as a lion waiting for his prey. Mm. And as a lion who shall rouse him, blessed is he who blesses you, and cursed is he who curses you. That's the Bible. <inaudible> this is who we are. <inaudible> By the horse gates. <inaudible> Whoever curses us by the gate, they are cursed by the same cursing, and whoever blesses us, they receive the blessing. May God rebuild the horse gate in you. May God put you at the horse gate. That's where Adonai. That's where Adonai Sabaoth is. The Lord God of hosts. In the names of the Lord. He has a name for war. Ngabo. The Lord of hosts. Now, how can he be called the Lord of hosts? And you, his son and daughter, don't have hosts around you. May God give you weapons this night and then send you for battle. Arise and let's thank the Lord. Thank you so much, people of God. Thank you, people of God. Can we pray for God to help us rebuild the host gate? Let's pray. Almighty God, we come to you. Pray, pray for your host gate. Pray for your host gate. Which is the gate for battle. Spiritual battle comes and begins there. It is done there. That's where you fight. That's where you fight. That's where you fight. Oh, yes. Yes, King Guridembo. To Fajagusa Nidembo. Kuko Nidembo Yawe. Nire muri ntambara nire muri urugamba ditugomba gutinya turi kumwe nawe dwe gutsinda abami namahanga dwe gutsinda ibigeragezo dwe gutsinda atalia mu izina ryawe tumukurubane mu ire muri ifarashi tumuneshe umuka wa atalia mu izina rya Yesu Oh ya bashiko riya basela koya Rika ne kosoya, rika ya bashela, rika ya se, hori ya baba likonda, mana senya, ibi chani la zumanzi, mana senya, imbaraga zumanzi, kubita hasi, imi fumbo, ya satani mumuzi mabgach, mumagoyach, mubana bach, 
muri bene wacu mu izina rya Yesu 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 Urakoze data Subira muri risenga jiva ngo mwambi Yesu Lord Jesus, teach me to fight. Teach me how Urugamba. to make war. Um, Give me the infantry and the great cavalry. Small swords and big swords. Guard me with your strength. My feet. Make them like dear feet. Give me strength. Like that of an but I may shred my enemies. That I may destroy the spirit of a In the name of Jesus. Sanirembo. Rebuild the gate. The hot gate. In my life. Lord Jesus. Your gate. That you fight it. It is your gate. That you overcome through. It is your gate. That you destroy the enemy. It is your gate. That you overcome the darkness. It is your gate. That you bring down all my enemies. Teach me how to fight. Let me walk and ride the The white horse. The white horse. Mumbaragazawe, Mumbaragazawe, Urakoze Yesu, 